Well, hey there, folks. Welcome back to Middleburg here on Farming Simulator 22. We got the uh, T7 here. Ran down to the grass field, or the, uh, yeah, the grass field, and picked up this one bell that was just a little bit too big for the wrapper. We're going to take it and feed it to the sheep. I've already got the uh, other New Holland out there with the cedar, and it is working on this field getting it uh, planted with sorghum so we're moving right along here with our oh, with the rest of our spring planting try to wrap that up here today actually really excited about uh, this next harvest here I think uh, being able to use the grain cart and we have some larger fields so that's going to make it a little bit more interesting we might can get a little bit more involved with some helpers and auto drive course play working all together the other thing i do want to get done today is uh, we need to grab those bells out of the field so that we can go ahead and apply another uh, bit of fertilizer so that that grass can regrow so we'll try to get that done today Ooh. let's see there we go so uh let's just check on the sheep here real quick i think they had a decent amount of food uh but that should have put them on up there pretty good Oh, actually, they <laughs> they didn't have much at all. So, I better go ahead and check the rest of them, too. Ooh, the pigs are down. Chickens are good. Horses are okay. So, yeah. I'm glad I brought that down to the sheep. So, on the last episode, if you watched it, we bought a new tractor. And we're finally going to get to use it here uh, on this episode, doing a little bit of planting. Let me pull this one over here out of the way. Oh, and by the way, uh, finally used up all the fuel out of this fuel trailer here. So that is empty. So I actually uh, bought some fuel for the uh, large fuel tank on the property. So with the planter, we're going to put some corn in the ground. And I believe I'm actually going to use the built-in fertilizing tanks on the on the planter. Uh, well, actually, they're full. We'll go ahead and just top it off here real quick. Oh, let's see. How do we open the doors here? I had trouble with this one before, didn't I? Let's see. Oh, uh, let's see. There was a key I pressed. Oh, that is not it. You know what I can do? I want to do this here real quick. So that I'm not struggling with it. In uh, easy development controls, there's actually a setting toggle cover there we go and there they come open right up although I am getting uh, no fertilizer uh, why is it not filling up oh there we go okay it's a hundred percent now And we'll go ahead and top off with seeds. We'll go ahead and change it over to corn. Let's see, will it close the cover? Nope, it's trying to close the cover on the, the tractor. I don't understand that. We'll just close it back with that. There we go.
So we're going to work on the big field over here is where we're going to plant the corn. And I'm not sure, I doubt it's going to make it around that entire field planting the sorghum without having uh, the need of refilling that cedar. So we'll probably at some point have to jump back over and uh, refill the cedar. I'll tell you the animation on this planter is pretty cool with all of those, uh, the wheels there on the uh, row. But I don't know what those would be called. The row, the each planter for each row, they plop down. That is pretty neat. A lot of detail. All right. So I think what we're going to do is I, I want to make a run down the side here along the fence. I could get course play to do this for me, but I am going to. Uh, plant just a bit. I do want to use this tractor and the uh, the planter together. See how it works out. This tractor actually turns really good. Pretty good combination. Obviously the tractor has plenty of horsepower. It probably would look a little better with some duels on it, but we did purposefully buy this tractor to pull that green cart, so uh, it's it'll do just fine. Uh, there won't be any traction issues, but it would probably look better. Because, you know, farming's all about the way things look. <laughs> I'm just joking. So let me check the screen here. So yeah, we are bringing the nitrogen level up a pretty good amount. I did not put any slurry out on this field, so it hadn't had any uh, application of, of anything after the last time it was harvested. So it is pretty low, so it's going to take quite a bit of nitrogen to uh, bring it up to the correct level. And uh, so we're probably going to have to stay on top of that. I imagine we'll go through the nitrogen pretty quickly. Well, not the nitrogen, the, the fertilizer. Trying to stay, keep the camera out of the trees there, but I didn't quite make it. So I think, I think what I'll do, I may actually just let a helper, a base came helper work on this field. Since I've done the border here along the fence, I may go down to the other end and go ahead and get a little border there between the fields just so it doesn't run over. Actually, it doesn't matter because that other field will be planted with corn too. So yeah, probably uh, let a helper work work this field here. Might be a good idea to go ahead and run along this edge here. Let's see, what do we want to do here? You know what, I think I'm going to do one more pass along that fence because that is going to make me nervous.
So we got a lot to plant today. Uh, this entire field here, the one that is cultivated, and the white one over there that has the lime on it. And then that field down there, both of those fields will have to be planted. Of course, the cedar uh, has quite uh, quite a bit smaller width than this planter here, so that'll be a little slower go, although it does move a little quicker, so I'm actually not sure. It may, may go about the same speed then. Alright, so now that we have a straight edge down here, we'll go ahead and get the helper started. We'll let it go back and forth this way. Yeah, this tractor is really maneuverable. I like this. It's really responsive. Oh, let's see, what's he doing? Uh, he didn't like the markers down, okay. Alright, well he is going there. Or she? Tell you what I'm going to do, is that actually looks like a pretty good little screenshot right there. Let's go ahead and take that while we are... Recording. How about that? All right, so we're going to let that go. Well, let's hop over real quick and check on the cedar. Just to see where it's going or where it's at with seed. Why is it not letting me? Oh, there we go. So it's still working on the headlands here and it's 83%. So that is okay for now. Now we will have to come back and fertilize that field. So. What we want to do now is we're going to go hop in the other tractor. I believe that's it there. And we're going to go pick up some hay bales. Nope. Oh. Oh. Wrong key. Just trying to press the, uh, the O key instead of the 9. Just turn off the little hood there. And O is the horn. Uh oh, what's going on here? Are we stuck on something? <laughs> yeah. Yes, we are. There we go. I did take some more corn syrup down to the uh, soda factory. So we have that going. So we are going to end up with some more soda which is a very good production or profitable very profitable production so should have some more money coming from that but i don't really know what else i need to spend money on i mean there's all kinds of things i can buy but i don't really need anything at this point i had thought about buying a bigger slurry tanker um, but i then also thought about buying one of the uh, self-propelled ones but then I just don't have that much slurry right now to use. And once we get this planted and fertilized, won't have much of a use for it at that point anyway. So I don't know. I don't know if I will buy another slurry tank at this point. Uh, let's see. Let's get this centered back up in here. I could buy a bigger cedar, but again, once we get this seeded, we won't have much of a use for one. Uh, I did think about a, a big wheel loader so that I could load up some of that manure at the farm. But I don't know what I'm going to do with it other than just taking it off to sell because, again, once we 
I can get things fertilized with precision farming. You just don't have to keep fertilizing, so uh, yeah, I don't know. I may take maybe I'll take it down to the biogas plant. Maybe I'll do that with both the uh, rest of the manure and the slurry. This is going to be a big load of blue bells. I do like this trailer. It holds quite a bit. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is the axle that pivots up front. Can't back the sucker. And there we go. We're full. So, let's see. How many more do we have on the field? Probably another trailer load. Oh, there's a tree. So I don't think these have turned to silage yet. No, they are still fermenting. So I really don't want to take them up to the warehouse because they will not ferment inside of it. I'm going to leave them down here. I'm actually going to leave them down here. And then that way I can come back later on once they're fermented and just pick them up here off the field. So that'll work out. We can go ahead and get the rest of them picked up. You see, I did miss quite a bit of grass on the field here. I... I'm almost wondering if that class uh, rake maybe is not pulling the grass together enough. I'm not real sure. Because now I've had trouble with both the uh, New Holland baler and the Vermeer baler. But the only common thing between both of those events was that class rake. So I don't know. I don't know if that's maybe not pulling uh make you know making a tighter tight enough windrow or maybe it's just my bad driving <laughs> not getting all of it in the baler i don't know but i have uh, had trouble with the grass here over on this field all right so we have that loaded up that is all of them i tell you those blue bells make it really easy to see them out on the field so let me take a look real quick at the production facility that is making our tmr oh we are out of what are we out of corn so let me deactivate that and tmr we need straw and silage which we do have both in the sh in the warehouse. So what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and unload this one here. And we'll take this trailer back up here. Because I'm going to go ahead and load up some straw and silage. And send it down to that plant. We do have uh, 215,000 liters of TMR in that uh, plant. 130,000 liters in the silo at the farm. And the cows have 102,000 liters in their trough. So I've got plenty of TMR, but we can sell the excess. We'll just keep making it. So probably what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take all of the silage that we have left in the warehouse here. Go ahead and get that out and then fill the rest of the trailer up with straw and send that down.
right, let's see what we have here. We'll get the biggest bells we can. It looks like uh, 6,500 on the square bells. And 12 bells is what we can get. Let's go ahead and get that loaded up. And then let me check real quick in the production facility at MC. Hey, it's okay. So I still have 42,000 liters of hay. So I'm good there. So let's load up some straw. And how many bells can we get? I don't know how many we can fit on that trailer. Let's do 20. Let's see what happens. Alright, looks like we can get two more bells, I think. Uh, let's see. We get three bells. I can always give some to the cows or the pigs. One more bell. We'll just go with a hay bell here. All right. I'll swing this fella around here and get him lined up, and I'm going to send him down. Let a driver help us out while we go check on some other things. Uh, we need to send this to the production unload. And let's go ahead and check on the helpers here real quick. Alright, so that one is 57% uh, left on the fertilizer and 67% on the corn. So that's doing well. And then the cedar here, where are we at? 75% left, so that's actually doing really good. It may actually get the entire field done without needing to be refilled, which would be really shocking. Because that cedar does not hold all that much. So that's pretty good. Very, very good. So uh, real quick, let's check the productions that we do have still running. Uh, what do we have? The soda? Got that running. So that's making a soda for us. We have uh, the farm production. I do need to drop some more potatoes in. Uh, but we are getting low on everything else in there. The uh, greenhouses are still making, and uh, let's see, that's just distribution, so we're doing well. We have a lot of stuff still rolling. We have a lot of stuff in storage. If we look at the menu here, I mean, we still have that much hay and that much straw. So <laughs> that's a lot still left in there from what we had. Um, and we're soon to get some more. We have 7,000 liters of flour that we made up from the wheat. We have some butter, some honey, raisins. I still I haven't sold any of the raisins. And what else do we have? Uh, looks like that's what, oh, we got some premium potatoes. Oh, and some strawberry ice cream. I made some of that. Which if we put some milk into the... That's what we can do. Let's put some milk into the 
production facility. Uh, what do we want to use here? Let's use the awesome Henry. Just because it's so awesome. I hadn't used this in a while. At least not during the recording. So we'll just grab this tanker here. And we'll get this full of milk. like this trailer because what you, whatever you put inside of it you get the little icon on the back there and then you can also see the fuel level in that too so that's pretty neat Oh, I did sell a load of pigs. Uh, I think it was after, maybe before or after the last episode. I did sell uh, one of the batches of pigs. They were up uh, over a thousand dollars a piece, and uh, I, the, the the pen was full, so I decided to go ahead and sell those uh, while they were at a good price and let some more grow off. So we did that. Uh, I think I sold some chickens as well just to let them reproduce as well so I uh, just trying to get a little cash coming in from the animals uh, the one thing I still don't know what to do and I've, I just haven't had enough experience with the sheep to know is do you sell the sheep when they mature or is it best to just hang on to mature sheep for the wool. I don't know what the best option is. How about that timing? So if you know, let me know, because I am not sure how to really manage the sheep. Alright, so we got that filled back up. Well, not filled up, but resupplied. And so we can start this back up and continue making the total mix ration. Now the pig food, I do need... Which I messed up and sold everything. I sold all the sunflowers and canola. So I'm afraid what's going to happen is I'm going to put corn in. And then I'm not going to get very much pig food out of it. So yeah, I, I've messed up. So let me, let me get this guy headed back up to the farm. And we'll get a load of corn sent down. What is this called? Because in the last episode I had the guy running all over the place. It's called Main Farm. Okay, that's what I thought I picked last time. Maybe I didn't. Why is it having trouble finding its way? See what I'm going to okay. I'm going to get this up here to the main road. And we'll see it. See what happens. I think something has happened to my course, and it's not liking it.
Yeah, it's not wanting to drive. I don't know what that guy's doing. Huh. Well, maybe he's having to think and recalculate. We'll let him go for a minute. Uh, let's hop back over here to our awesome Henry. I do have milk still in the tanker, so I'm just going to leave the tanker there. Because we'll have to empty the rest of it out here at some point in the future. Oh, I cannot. I can't use this tractor. It is it's too slow. I know what we'll use. We'll use a semi-truck. So I probably need to put that back over there on that tanker. So I'm going to pull it over right here and we'll go find the semi truck. Where is it? Back here, I think. What are you doing? <laughs> Love the animals, the animations in Armstrong 22. They did a great job with it. Don't look. Don't look either. I do have the Ford hooked back up to the dump trailer. And I tell you what, when this truck hits third gear, it just takes off. Let's get some corn loaded up here, which I don't have a whole lot. Uh, we'll do 10,000 liters. Not a whole lot, but I don't want to fill it up because I'm not sure that I can get that grain back out of that plant. And I don't think we're going to have, have enough of the other materials to use it up. So, I'm going to send this down there and we'll probably have a collision. Let's see if that other uh, machine is moving. Uh oh, oh, yep. Oh, yeah, we're going to have a collision. So, I'm going to stop this tr truck here. I'll drive it myself. That way we don't run into the tractor. Oh, sorry about that. Trying to move my mouse. Trying to move my mouse there. I've been doing a... I know I mentioned this before about getting through these episodes without having to make too many cuts or edits and I've been doing really good. I, I know I've uh, slipped up a few times through the past few episodes but for the most part I've just been able to record it and throw the intro on and a few little touches ups I guess if, <laughs> if you want to call it. I don't know few little edits and touch-ups not many and render it and put it up on YouTube so it's actually been uh, it's, it's actually been a relief to be able to do some of these recordings like this it just takes some of the stress off of the uh, post recording work and it's helping me with some uh, time back with the family and for some other things so that's it's just been nice I tell you it's been nice I, I really enjoyed this episode or this series uh, not being formal don't have the storyline no role play we're just doing some farming and having some fun and I've had some fun and I think that's what it's all about um, you gotta have fun and especially as a 
content creator, someone who plays this, this game as much as I do to create content, it's got to be fun. So uh, this series has been fun. And I miss my turn. Flapping my jaws. And I miss my turn. One thing I won't miss on this map is the frame rates. Uh, it is tough. It's a tough map to run. It's a beautiful map. Nitrodad has done a fantastic job on it. But it is a lot to it. It is a tough one. I didn't intend to drive all the way down here to the the mill, but here we are. I better pull it. I don't know if it's going to hit. Oh, this trailer doesn't raise up. So that is not a problem. So let me turn the pig food button on real quick. Activate. And we should be good. Yep. Very, very good. So we have got a couple productions back in service. So that's a good thing. Let's see if I can get this guy to get us back to the house. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, hey, there we go. All right, let's jump back over to the farm and check on our planters. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh. Never fails. It never fails. Those fences. Eight fences. And I even did four headlands on this map or this field here. So, yeah, it shouldn't be getting into the fence. But something with this, um, it's either the tractor doesn't turn real sharp or it could be this cedar keeps it from turning very sharp. But either way, it does seem to struggle some on the uh, end rows here and so it ends up in the trees and the fences frequently okay let's let him take off and let's check on this guy because he is probably getting fairly low well he's still got 25 percent, so that's not too bad uh probably let's see maybe th two or three four more passes down here we're gonna have to get him filled back up so i think what i'm gonna do we're gonna call it there we got a lot done on this episode. I'll go ahead and finish up these fields. I don't know where we'll be when, when I bring you back for the next episode. So stay tuned. Who knows what we will be doing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please be sure to click that thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Be sure to click the bell so you're notified of all future notifications. Notified of all future content. That's a better way of saying it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope each of you have a blessed day.